Alright, so if you can see that, we're at uh, 0.6, around 0.6. successful run there we're going to take another look at this I thought I was done pulling things apart but now one more thing now that's come up in the uh, the forums everybody's now talking about uh, drive shaft phasing as a possible issue as to why the rear ends on the XMRs go. So I'm going to tear this all apart again and have a look at that drive shaft and see if it is an issue on this machine. So you'll get to uh, see how this all comes apart again. So I'll go through the whole process whether whether I'm doing it right or not, and I'm not a mechanic, as I've mentioned many times, but that's how I, that's how I can take it apart. Cotter pin, you got your main nut there. Uh, all I have is an uh, inch and a sixteenth, and it fits pretty snug, so... Things on at 151 foot pounds. Got a washer and a nut. Then we got uh, brake caliber, two uh, 15 millimeter bolts that come out. There's the, uh, the rotor. All right, we've got to take the, the brake line off this swing arm here. So we've got a 10 mil bolt with a 10 mil nut. Then we have a uh, Torx T30. A little screw up here. Got to get the line out of the way of the uh, swing arm bolt. Okay, and then there's this here that we can just pull up and pop the brake line out. There's the brake line and the caliper. Now we're going to have to undo the shock and the sway arm. Take this piece out, the lower sway arm. They are 15 mils. So I need a 15 mil wrench. And a 15 mil socket for the impact. Lower sway arm. Gonna put the bolts back in it so I don't lose them. Shock. Oops. Spacer for the shock. Actually, it's a good idea to put a little tie wrap through there and then you don't lose that either. There, you know, a little space is not going anywhere. All I'm gonna do is tie that up. That's about as far as it'll go. I'm just going to tie it up to the, to the rear rack so it's out of the way. Alright, this nut, I don't have metric that big. So uh, I'm using 15 sixteenths. Pretty snug. I got a 15 sixteenths wrench on the other side. There's nuts on both sides. Whichever one loosens off. Last time this one loosened off. So.
There we go. Nut, spacer, sway arm, <coughs> excuse me, axle. There's your whole swing arm assembly. There's your axle. If it's not seized, it should pop right out. Like that. Okay, we're going to go do the same thing to the other side. So there's the swing arm bolt. Spacer. The other nut. Pull that right out. That's it. I'm gonna look right through. But just in case it your swing arm falls right out. Off the axle. There's two spacers in here. Just make sure you don't lose those. That's on the swing arm. Axle out. There's your little your little C clip that everybody talks about. Gets locked in. That's looking right through your rear diff. There's your drive shaft. You got a little nut in there. If you can see that little nut. Holds the yoke into your rear diff. Five big bolts through the rear diff, and then four bolts up there. Those all have to come out, and then the rear diff will come out once we take that one yoke bolt out. That point right there where you can get the axles out, that was maybe half an hour work. Now we're going to take the bolts out, and uh, okay, one thing I should mention that. Uh, you should uh, drain the rear diff before you uh, attempt to take it out. Make things a little cleaner. Okay, so before I take the rear diff out, I got three bolts on my skid plate here. I'll have to drop my skid plate, and then I can get at these diff bolts better. 15 mil. So the top bolts are 13 mil. And they're a little, a little tricky to get in behind, but you can get at them. Okay, just a little hint for uh, when you're putting it uh, back together. Just put this strap around to show you. You can uh, compress these two if the holes and the bolts don't line up for the diff. And also, uh, just to make it clear, you don't have to go through this whole process. Um, I find it easier to. You got more room to work, but. You can get that drive shaft out of there by just taking the bolts out of the diff, sliding the diff back. It'll slide back even with the axles in about uh, about an inch, and that'll give you enough to to work those bolts out. So I'll just let you know. All right, I'm on the opposite side where the yoke is open more. You can see the nut there. That's a 13, 13 mil. So we'll just undo that and then this uh, whole rear diff will pull right out. This is where a ratchet wrench comes in uh, really handy. Just move the diff out as it comes out. As the bolt comes out. Here's the, if I can get it out, come on. There's the yoke bolt. Just work 
a weird diff out. Oh. There we go. Rear diff is out. All right, so now we got the front yoke. We got the same bolt on it to the transmission. So I've uh, tied up the uh, drive shaft to the side there so I can get at that. So I'm going to get in there. It looks like a 13 also. Okay, so you just keep uh, pulling the back, the drive shaft back slowly as you undo that bolt to keep tension on it and eventually it will come off. And that's, uh, it just sits on the splines on the, uh, it's got a seal into the transmission. So all is good there. Okay, there's your drive shaft out. There's your wear ring. This is the factory wear ring. You can see the wear mark around there already. There's no, I can't feel any lip on it, so it's not grooving right in. Still should be good. So your drive shaft yokes are right flat on the surface here. And when they're talking about phasing, they're talking about these two being out just a touch. Like the drive shaft is twisted. See how you get a bit of a rock there? Alright, so if you can see that, we're at uh, point six, round point six. Now on the other side we're at zero point three four three. We're one degree off on the phase. And I believe that that is uh, acceptable. So we should be good on this shaft. And this shaft is uh, 16, 2016 XMR 850. All right, since the uh, drive shaft is within uh, one degree, it's good. So we can put everything back together. Um, basically just go in the uh, opposite order that uh, we took it apart. And uh, the bolt that holds the yoke to the tranny is the, the bigger fat one. And the skinnier one is the one that goes to the, the diff. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching, guys.